Okay, so this next story I really don't get, so I, I'm going to look for the explanation here. But, okay, a positive pregnancy test can bring on several emotions, joy, stress, sometimes even fear. And now, in an unusual mm -hmm. twist, positive pregnancy tests are popping up for sale on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's what I don't get. Jeannie Kiesling has the story. The stress of having a baby can be tough, especially for many parents who are worried about the added cost of a little one. But one way some expecting moms are trying to make a little extra cash is causing quite a stir. That's like any other con. Cons are no good and it never results in anything positive. A con is a con. A quick search on Craigslist in several cities and you can find plenty of expecting moms hoping to cash in on their condition by selling positive pregnancy tests to anyone who is willing to pay up. I thought it was ridiculous. Some say its purpose is to prank. Others insist they don't care what it's used for, and that's where things can get messy. For example, if uh, a married man was having an affair and uh, he tried to break it off with the girl and she became upset and uh, decided to, you know, present this fake pregnancy test and demand money or otherwise she'd tell the, the, uh, the spouse, I think that would be you know, a level of blackmail out of that point. Some other examples being passed around the internet include tricking a man into marrying them, or at the very least trying to keep a partner in a relationship he no longer wants any part of. Whatever the reason, even if it is used just to joke, many say it's hitting below the belt. I still don't think it's right. That's playing with people's emotions. That's a real life situation. You don't mess with stuff like that. An Overland Park ad read, this is becoming very popular. I am eight weeks pregnant selling positive pregnancy tests. If you want to prank someone or even trap a man into marriage, please feel free to email or text Amber. We sent a text to the phone number and the receiver wrote back and insisted she's never posted anything on Craigslist. Soon after, the ad was removed. If it's a prank, it would be hysterical, but it can be, uh, it can be really cold hearted and mean that I wouldn't want to be a part of. I wouldn't be on the receiving side of that. Wow. Well, the average price of the positive test starts at $20. I, I can't believe that women are doing this. I mean, if you have to trap a man to give you a ring by giving a fake pregnancy test, that's pretty sad. You know, with catfish and those all these internet things going on, people do stoop to serious lows that it's almost shocking. But the thing that grosses me out, people are urinating on these sticks. What, oh, that's you know, true. Why would you want that? Right? That I mean, true. that's like a side uh, thought, but yeah. that's what, where my mind yeah. went. You know what? We have the laptop so here. So someone's and used urine. I pulled up the Palm Springs Craigslist. Good thing there are none in our area. Oh, there are. But you could see some in San Diego, Chula Vista nearby where wow. women are posting positive pregnancy tests. You buy them for $15, $30. I, I, I don't know. I find this ridiculous. I do agree with the one guy who said, okay, maybe a funny joke if it's April Fool's Day, maybe. <laughs> and you go to your boyfriend and you joke around and say, just kidding, I bought this on Craigslist. But that would be the only, absolute only. You might not have reason. a boyfriend after doing yeah, that. Yeah, true. After pulling that break. <laughs> maybe that's why or I'm you might single. Have a husband. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Let's well, stay with this. We have much more for you coming up on your KMIR 6 today.